Hello students, welcome to solve such classes. Today we will be solving the ISI MSTAT question paper of year 2016. Today we will be solving question number 1 and question number 3 from the paper of 2016. So let's begin with question number 1. Question number 1 says that a number of terms which are independent of x in the binomial expansion of 3 x square plus 1 by x to the power 5 is either 0 or 2 or 5 or 1. So we have to find out the number of terms in the expansion which are independent of x or in which the power of x is 0. So let's begin. Let me move the page upwards. Okay. So if we expand 3x square plus 1 by x to the power 5 by binomial expansion then we get 5c0 into 3x square whole to the power 5 plus 5c1 into 3x square to the power 4 into 1 by x plus 5c2 into 3x square to the power 3 into 1 by x square plus 5c3 into 3x square to the power 2 by 1 by x cube plus 5c4 into 3x square by into 1 by x to the power 4 and finally 5c5 into 1 by x to the power 5. So we can see that in the first exp expression the power of x is x to the power 10. In the second expression, in the second term, the power of x is x to the power 7. In the third expression, the power of x is x to the power 4. Here it is x to the power 1. Here it is x to the power minus 2. And here it is x to the power minus 5. So we can see that there is no term in wh which is independent of x. So the number of terms in this expression in this expression which is independent of x is 0 and that is option A. Now let's move on to the next question. In question number 3 it has been said that there is a 6 digit number which is to be formed by rearranging the digits of 654321. Then it has been asked that how many such numbers after rearranging will be divisible by 12. The options are 168, 192, 360 and 144. Now if a number is divisible by 12 then that number is divisible by both 3 and 4 and 3 into 4 is equal to 12 so 3 and 4 are 3 and 4 factors of 12 so now if after rearranging all the digits of uh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we get a number n. Then if n is a rearrangement of 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then that number n is divisible by 12. That in therefore n 
is divisible by 12 if and only if 3 divides n and 4 divides n. Now, when we uh, rearrange the number 654321, then those numbers will be ultimately of the form uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 1, 3, 2, 4, 6, 5. In any case, the digits are the same. So, the sum of the, sum of the digits will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 so 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 2 3 6 10 15 and 21 so the answer is 20 the sum of the digits is 21 and if the sum and it is divisible by 3 and we know that if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 3 then that number is divisible by 3 all itself so in that case let me move the page upwards that implies that means that n is divisible by 3 so the first part has been solved on to the next part uh, we know Uh, that 100 is divisible by 4 so any number of the format 100k will be also divisible by 4 now if there is a number 100k plus L and if this number is divisible by 4 that implies that the number L is also divisible by 4 let me use the space below so therefore n is divisible by 4 if the part after dividing if the part after dividing n by 100 is also divisible by 4 so we can write that n is divisible of 4 if the remaining part that um, if n ends with numbers which are divisible of 4 so that can be in from this digit 6 5 4 3 2 1 so we can write if n ends with 12 uh, then 16 then 24 32 36 then 52 then 56 and 64 in these cases the number will be divisible by 4 so total here there are 8 cases 8 cases so basically out of the 6 places we have filled out these two portion with these numbers and there will be four places remaining which have to be filled by the remaining four digits so in that case the total number of arrangement will be for each case will be four factorial for this arrangement so let me move it further below so total cases will be 8 for this last two digits and 4 factorial for each of these 8 cases so it will be equal to 192 and that is the option A so today we have solved question number 1 and 3 from the ISI Amstead question paper of year 2016 we will be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos so till then
keep watching Sorpsis classes and his videos and all the best for the upcoming exams. Thank you very much.